I'm talking to Wes Brandt, he's the sales manager for Chefla USA. Brandt, how are you doing this morning? Fantastic, thank you so much for meeting with me. Thank you, pleasure. So tell me, how is the US market so far for Chefla? The US market is uh, uh, contrary to what a lot of uh, different individuals have been concerned about in a slight recession or pullback. The market for automating uh, finishing systems is extremely uh, positive right now and growing exponentially throughout all of North America, so all of the United States and Canada. What you see uh, as a prevalent throughout the market is many, many companies uh, engaged in the woodworking industry have spent many years and time and, and investments automating all their wood processing. Kind of what's transpired over time is they've taken and put on the back burner any automation of finishing and were previously hand spraying. What is taking place currently is that there's more or less a race throughout the industry uh, for wood processing and manufacturing companies to automate their finishing component now. A lot of that can be attributed to customers that uh, uh, have challenges with labor, acquiring labor, consistency in labor, reliable labor, and then even the uh, hourly cost of a, a skilled spray operator. So they have to look at a variety of different options in order to automate that process as well. So what, if I may ask you, what is the main highlight, main product of the show? Yeah, I would say uh, for us, uh, Chefla as a whole, what we're really focused on here and highlighting is a very compact work cell for the automation of flatline spraying with our Chefla Prima P, which is a pressurized reciprocating spray machine. And then what we've done furthermore is we've integrated uh, a curing system that we refer to as the Unidry. The Unidry works off of a proprietary medium wave catalytic infrared plates. So it's non-visible energy spectrum that's emitted. It uh, involves the, the catalyzation of natural gas or liquid propane and a chemical reaction that yields that spectrum of infrared in order to complete and fully cure a product in the smallest footprint possible. So the, the finishing line that we have here in front of us and we're presenting from in feed of the spray machine to out feed of the, out of the oven is approximately 47 feet long. If you go through the industry itself, historically this was almost impossible to achieve such a small footprint and have a completely cured product using conventional ovens. So this technology has been an absolute game changer. It eliminates the need for hot water boiler systems that feed heat exchangers on conventional ovens. It works strictly on uh, liquid propane or natural gas. And, the, and from an economic standpoint, it's extremely cost effective and uses a minuscule amount of gas in order to complete a fully cured product uh, for your for the application of liquid coatings. So for this application, which are the main market? The main market? Uh, primarily, uh, you would see a lot of cabinetry companies, you would see uh, building material um, industries, so it could be used for window components, door components, cabinetry components. We've implemented it in flooring uh, components. Uh, we've done it in composites as well. Um, unlike traditional uh, curing mechanisms that heat the entirety of a board surface, interior and the coating itself, this technology targets specifically the coating itself. So there's some uh, significant advantages to being able to cure a coating without manipulating the board surface temperature of the entire part. So it, it's very uh, beneficial for composite materials that are temperature sensitive as well. Thank you, Brian. Thank you so much for talking yeah, to Good Thank you so much. Appreciate all the time that you spent with us today.